Hello, Internet. We're here with the king and Adrian. I don't know why Adrian's here, actually. A bit weird. But uh, we're going to be doing the king of the air watch along. The semi-final first and then the final. Technical Take two, meltdown. mate. Take two. This is normal for us. I can't even remember what I was, oh, what I was go, saying. Yeah. Hey, Mark, That's you look, good. You look, you're looking super slow, uh, super thin here, brother. Yeah. What in this? Oh, which one? In that, fo- in, that fo- in that photo, you're looking very svelte. <laughs> yeah, I was. My face is sucked in. You can tell when I when I get lean. Yeah, he was going like this. <laughs> he, was doing that, he was doing that Kim Kardashian look for the photo. So you, in and pushing the lips out. You just beaten Tom, and. You were kind of in second gear, and then he's got that 8.4, and you were like, oh, sh- shit. And then you did yeah. turn it on for that. Um, so were you confident going into this, Liam Heat? Did you have more in the tank? Did you know you had more to give? Uh, exactly. Like, I'm pretty good straight out the bag, uh, as you can tell. I can just go straight into my hardest tricks with no warm-up, no stretching. It's just kind of always been like that. Um so with Tom, I started off slower than I normally would. And he's kind of a reason behind that. What One reason was I was trying to consume as much energy as possible uh, to save it for Liam because I knew Liam was going to be my hardest task. And this was the final, basically, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Liam came off a big win in cold Hawaii. Uh, he's been, yeah, to me, the most impressive out of you know, uh, watching watching it, all mm. the pros ride, the most yeah. consistent, the most impressive. And, yeah, I knew it, it's just going to come down to who has the better heat, realistically. It could go either way. Um, and, yeah, I just, just wanted to save everything because I knew I just had to give it everything for this heat. And also, what I- one minute, 15 seconds in, you've already done three tricks. I think we're about to see your fourth mm. any second Liam is yet to get on the scoreboard so your tactic to get out early and kind of yeah like honestly this king of the air is the first time I've actually got the flow going um, I've always struggled with getting that flow finding that flow um, you know I've always I've, I've pulled off some new tricks and stuff before but I've never found that flow and I don't know this event I was just on the on such a, I don't know, crazy flow. It just felt like it to me. It felt like nothing. But when I watch it, I'm just like, what the hell? Like you know, like yeah, um, yeah. It's just hard to explain. That is when massive. You... This one from Liam, by the way. If he had landed that, I think yeah, that, that would have been changed a good score for sure. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah. You, you, something... you mentioned something back there about Liam. You know, the heat before this. Did you watch him ride against uh, Edgar? Because I mean, yep. it was unbelievable. I think it might have been one of the most dominant heats of the day that we'd seen up to this point. Yeah, and I, I listened to Liam's interview with with you guys previously, and he said that he was really nervous going into that heat. And nerves can be a good thing if you know how to channel nerves. You can actually turn it into a positive thing. And to me he he did that and that's why he had the heat of his life where i think with me he he wasn't so nervous um he was confident and yeah that can kind of get you as well when you're a little bit confident and you yeah mm. it's just kind of like yeah it's just you know every this is the thing about competition you got to be able to do in every heat you can't just have mm. one good heat and a lot of the riders in this event, they have one good heat and then they can't, they, they're not consistent. They can't keep that same score or they can't improve. And that's what it comes down to winning an event like this. You have to be consistent. You have to be able to get that same score and you have to be able to at least prove, um, not go backwards. Because, yeah, some people peak too early. And for me, I think um, I just got better and better every heat. Um, mm. I think the final, I just. Um, you know, did even more tricks than the previous heats. So, yeah, you just – you got to learn not to peak early, and it's a hard thing to learn. And, yeah, every ride is different, but it's 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 a hard comp. This We got one shot a year for this, yeah. and <laughs> it's not enough um, because other comps aren't like this one. The PP for this one, it's a lot more pressure. It's a lot more The hard. most pressure, yeah. It's a lot bigger – and it's a lot harder to win. Um, 
so yeah, uh, obviously that was my fifth kingy there, and I finally figured out the formula. <laughs> just, yeah. did, just did four warm ups. <laughs> hey, can and, can you can you feel yeah. where Liam is in the heat? Can hey, can you see him all the time? Have you always got your eye on him? Yeah, I saw every trick Liam did. I always kind of. Some people don't like doing that. Some people do. To me, I kind of like knowing because then I know what to do next. As long as you can control that pressure of oh shit, I need to throw something big and not do something stupid and crash. I think it's a good thing, but if yeah, if if you can't do that, then maybe you're you're better not to watch because <laughs> might put you off. Hmm. But I knew he was he, Liam had a slow start, and I and I and I was I had that flow starting from the from the start. Hmm. Uh, so that was kind of the difference between when you watch this back and forward, you kind of see Liam struggling um, quite quite a bit at the start of his heat, where I kind of like had a flow i didn't did i crash in his heat i don't think i did no i don't think i don't think so liam like does find another gear at the end which we'll get to that i'm not going to spoil and and that's and that comes down to competition experience yeah liam's one of the best at that and to be able to come back at the end is crazy like on the buzzer any people i ever seen do that is like aaron and liam kevin those those names so there's big contra boogie board off there and you're kind of pulling away here liam's still yet to get a third score on the board but you know we're f- only four minutes left was um was your previous experiences in competition with liam on your mind during this and can you talk a bit about what's happened in the past um well uh, to me you learn more losing than you do winning and every king in the air, I learned a lot, especially in my last king in the air, uh, riding against Jesse. I immediately knew what I needed to do and how I could have won that heat. And Which was? Like, uh, against Jesse? Yeah. Yeah, well, I just, well, back then I didn't obviously have all the switch technical um, yeah. board offs like he did. Um, I only had them coming in. But there was a few things I could have done coming in as well as going for bigger Kung Fu passes because I was a little bit, wasn't really focused too much on them. But I, I, they, they were the trick that got me that far against them. Obviously, Jesse has the best Kung Fu passes, mm. so I can't match him with that. But I can I can match him with technical difficulty, Megaloop yeah. board-offs coming in. So I, f- I feel like I, I could have definitely done better in that heat. But in saying mm. that, I still wasn't ready I still didn't have that switch level that I needed to take mm. it out. Just um, quickly, I, yeah. just to to interrupt here, is Jesse doing 2022 King of the Air? Do we know? Can you tell us? I have no idea. You have, you have <sighs> to ask him. <laughs> you have to ask Mate. him. I don't think it, it's, it, it really comes. He looks like he's having a good time. He's got no pressure in the world to do it. He's won two King of the Airs. He's competed yeah. in everyone apart from when he got injured. I mean, he, he's done it all. He, he's got nothing to prove. It's it's really if he's got the motivation and he yeah. wants to go for a third one, he, he'll come for sure if he wants to. If he gets his, that motivation, he'll be Here's there. Liam's big, first big Kung Fu on the way in. Um, yeah, what's happened in previous King of the Years and was that was that on your mind against Liam, Liam in particular? Uh, this year, I kind of didn't really worry who I had. It didn't really matter to me. End of the day, it doesn't matter who you have. Uh, you just got to beat them and you got to ride your best. And, you know, if you worry too much who you got and what sort of way you're going in the ladder, yeah. then you're not confident. You know, you okay. just got to... So the, the fact that he beat you by 0.0001 in previous <laughs> King of the Airs, that wasn't on your mind. You missed a naught. You missed uh, a naught. It's in the past, you know. Why would I worry about an event that I would I... worry? I would worry big time. I'd be like, I was robbed. That, I did that... a boogie board off when when the in between the flag system, so it didn't count. That was... and That's what made Liam beat me. That again was a, a mistake, and I, I, t- I tell you again, every time I lose, I learn a lot. And yeah, you learn to look at the flag. I think people that lose, they if they can channel that. To f- like, if I didn't lose, I wouldn't have learned switch, and I wouldn't be so dominant today. With hmm. switch, and I wouldn't have the full package. I wouldn't have all the tricks, and it's made me a better rider losing. So, I don't I'm know how you land this one, by the way. 
Yeah. I don't know how, how I did that ever. Yeah. I mean, you <laughs> guys heat. both didn't go to the Contras to uh, – sorry, both didn't go to um, the handle passes to very late in the heat, right? Yeah, because, I mean, handle passes are the riskier one. You crash one of those, it can put you out for the heat. And you kind of want to get a good three, four tricks on the board before you consider unhooking. Mm. So at the end of the day, most guys kung fu passes – um, besides Jesse and maybe Liam or myself, they're not really our top score. They're more of an over-impression over score. Um, Here's Liam Whaley uh, on the buzzer. That is massive. That was, that, that was the best Kung Fu I've ever seen from Liam. That was more yeah. kind of like a Jesse style, but obviously not quite Didn't Jesse. Extra pass, yeah. Jesse. Jesse goes way bigger <laughs> than mm. all of us. Mm. But yeah, that's his signature move. So at this moment in the heat, did you know that you'd won? How how confident were you? You must have seen that last Kung Fu and knew that it was on the buzzer. What, well, what was going through your mind? So I was really confident, pretty much. Like I was just in the flow and I saw he wasn't in the flow. And if you compare both, you, you would see that, you know, this guy's putting on a good show and this guy is. And, and I knew I had a big bag of tricks in and I knew he had some good ones at the end. That Kung Fu was like, all right, it's going to be close for sure. I always knew that with Liam, it's going to be close. Uh, you just you just never know what you're getting scored, so you can't just calculate in your head how close you are. But I knew that I had him on overall impression because I had mm. to. I just did more more variety, more things. I mean, the uh, contras yeah. were the difference, right, really, in the end. Well, contra and I think the switch megaloop board off coming in. Okay. So, yeah. so both ways, he didn't um, do that. We both match handle passes in and out. Um we both kind of had the Miglute board off stuff going out and yeah, had the doobies. So yeah, I knew I had him just on that very variation and it was, I knew it was going to be close and I was just actually, I was just so proud of myself because I knew I gave it everything. Um, as long as I, I feel like I've given it everything and I've written my best, you can't be upset with yourself. The hardest thing ever is, having a bad run and knowing you didn't perform your best and mm. losing that way. That one really eats, eats you. And hey, I want to ask you one question. Lot, Mark. The ones. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you one question. Um, obviously, uh, Liam's just changed brands. You were in the same thing before you were riding uh, another brand. Do you think this change to a new brand's going to, and how will that affect Liam and his competition going forward, being on a, a, a brand that's maybe a little bit more competitive when it comes to the kites? Well, he's changed at a good time. He's got a whole year to get dialed on that kite, which is plenty. And I think it's a good decision on his behalf. It's only mm -hmm. going to make him go higher and bigger and better. And, yeah, he's going to be a big threat next year. I mean, there's a lot of good riders that are right up there that can take it out. But Liam is, Liam is that one that can do it, you know. He's, he's, he, he's, he's got it, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. It's going to be exciting next year for sure. I wonder if he'll be looking to bring S loops and double loops to it. I haven't oh. seen anything from his yet, but surely. Oh, he can he can do them. He just hasn't done them, but he yeah. can do them. Yeah. Come on, like he's – how technical is he? Yeah. He can do them. Um, yeah, and if he wants to do them and wants to put – he's the type of guy that, you know, Mega Loop KGB, never done it. Yeah. Comp, do it in the comp. <laughs> and, yeah. He, he doesn't no. have to. He doesn't have to practice it. He'll just do it in the comp. That was Colin's to. big call. He said. He said. Uh, he said more. We're going to see more unhook stuffing. Uh, more unhook stuff coming back. You were so wrong there, brother. It's gone crazy. That was. That was one time. I, I think. Wrong. I yeah. think. I think after <clears> the <throat> double loop stuff, you could see some unhook coming back. But the problem was with unhook. Um, there is there is a box. I feel like we haven't ticked yet for unhooking. But in saying that, it has to be perfect when it can't be too strong. Because obviously unhooking, you can't do it too strong. And when you mix it with loops and everything, yeah. uh, obviously height is a is a factor of unhooking. And you can't reach the heights like you can being hooked in with the board offs or the double loops. Did, so, did you hear Liam talking about yeah, using the Rebel though? Did you hear how he said he was going to ride the Rebel? And he said it's yeah. going to be almost impossible to unhook? Yeah, so I mean, yeah, like you keep forecasting that there's going to be a lot of kite change. And I mean, if double loops score well and guys mm. are going to need to take the eights or sevens when when 
when an event like King of the Air and we need to be on our nines and just quickly take an eight or just risk it on the nine. Um, yeah, it's they could it could possibly be like that. Um, especially for King of the Air, they, I feel like they still want to see Kung Fu passes. And, yeah, you're going to have to be able to – maybe Liam's just going to figure it out, make it work on that kite. Um, I'm pretty sure he, he will. He's Liam. Yeah. <laughs> but if not, yeah, then – who knows? Like, we, yeah, a few riders might have the the backup backup kite. Can options. you imagine the chaos yeah. on the beach as riders are coming in, a three man heat trying to change kites at the same <laughs> time? Feel, There's going to be fights with the caddies. Feel, There's going to be kites everywhere. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I feel bad for the caddies, man. They, their jobs <laughs> got them. They got their work cut out for them. Oh, they love it. Year. They love it. Those caddies. <laughs> they do love yeah. it. To be fair. No, nah, it's. it's... <laughs> so well, if. Unhooking is going to come back into the frame. It's probably going to be Mega Loop KGBs and Mega Loop Mobs off the kickers, right? Um, let's see. I don't want to give too much away, but <laughs> it is that. But game let's plan, see. Colin. You're throwing okay. his game plan out. Okay. <laughs> trying, to, trying to sabotage me, mate. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I, if you start going for that, no one else is going to be going for that. Maybe Liam. Uh, Aaron looked like he I mean, might has, might have gone for it in it, 2020, but didn't. It has to be rewarded because the risk for doing those sort of tricks is, you know, it's yeah. you crash one and then you do your ribs or yeah, you're gone. You know, yeah. they're not they're not on the crash and they're hard. They're difficult to land in in 30 plus. So, but the, and the you other need thing is, specific, yeah, like the the big problem is they work better on sea kites than they do on hybrid bow kites. Mm, um, yeah, yeah. That's the big problem with the unhook tricks. You've got, got the right so. race director now, though, right? With Chris Bull. He is looking to uh, up, yeah. Yeah, award extremity and kites yeah. being low and people doing gnarly shit unhooked. So I think it is a bit of a changing of the times, and I'd really like to see it go that way. I, I, think, I think that was because rotation was taking over quite a lot. And everyone started chasing rotation. And the problem is when you do that, you stop focusing on your kite position and you start focusing on rotation. And we're turning more into like the board off category than we are in the kite loop category where we're, we're working away from the extremity where Red Bull King there has always been about extremity. Mm. Um, so I feel like it's a good thing because we don't want to just – do five spins with a high kite loop. We want to still keep that crazy yank slack loop effect, but obviously get that as highly technical as we can without mm. losing that. Mm. So I, I'm a fan of it, but obviously some riders wouldn't be because it, whatever suits them is what yeah. they would like. But I think for King of the Air, it makes sense because it's always been like that. And last thing you want to do is get away from extremity. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Shall we, Shall we get the into final? this? Yeah, I was going to say, let's get straight into this final then, eh? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah.